Right, so this is the second part. Uh, we continue with uh, installation. We completed the installation of Android Studio in uh, the first part. So today we are going to start building an application. So before I continue, I'd like to show you what we are going to do today. So the first thing is create an Android application to display a welcome message and time of the day. I actually simplified it. And the second one we are going to do is to create an Android application with a login screen. So uh, anytime you are trying to build uh, an application that has a user interface, always uh, sketch it out, always draw a sketch. If you don't know how to use a pen and a paper, uh, most likely you start learning it because that is one thing that will help you to to get far in your in your um, in your in your learning of Android application or programming generally. So always try to use a pen and a paper. People who actually uh, quickly rush into developing, uh, clicking the keyboard and the mouse, or uh, the mouse and keyboard, they actually uh, give up along the line. So try to take your time, uh, take a pen, a pen and a paper, draw a sketch of what you want your uh, application uh, user interface to look like. So we are going to do this. It's very simple. So we are going to do it. I'm going to explain every bit of uh, every step I'm going to take to you. And then the next thing is we are going to do this. Uh, you'll see how easy it is. And then from there, we move on. So let me put away this presentation and let's go back to where we are. So if you are at this point in Android Studio, just go ahead to click on Start New uh, Android Studio Project. So I'm going to call it... Uh, uh, so let's call it welcome welcome tutorial let's call it welcome tutorial because we just want to display a welcome message so domain for now we don't have any domain so let's let's uh, just leave it as, as plank so uh, package name so basically uh, company domain in this company domain you can actually leave it blank I, I think so then choose maybe any of these these are actually programming language kotlin is programming language c++ is programming language so normally i choose kotlin so i think we need to enter something here so let me just say kind some kind okay so so it's actually trying to create a package uh, but just Enter anything. I assume it's the, it's the root folder where everything is going to be. Go next. So here at this point, what we are trying to develop is a Android uh, application for a phone uh, or tablet. Uh -huh. So for any Android phone, maybe Galaxy Edge, maybe um, HTC or, or some other Android phone out there. So I think we can actually go up to Lollipop. Can or we can leave it. Let me just check my phone to see which which uh, uh, API is there. So normally to check the API, just go to your phone and go to settings and go to about. So go to settings and go to about phone in the settings. Let me see. In mine, I have. Um, let me see. All right, I think mine is Android version 7.0. No, so uh, status okay. I, I don't, I, I, I couldn't get this at this time instead of spending the time. Let's uh, just uh, move up, move on with this. So 4.0.3, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to use Lollipop, which is 5.0. So, all right. Or we can, let's leave it at the default ice cream sandwich, which by targeting API 15 and later, your app will run approximately 100% of devices. Okay, so just go to next. So at this point, uh, it says basic activity, it says uh, bottom navigation activity, no activity. So let's leave it at empty activity, okay? So go next. 
So I'll explain what this activity means, but let's leave it at main activity at this point. So say generate layout file, generate backward compatibility app, app comcat. So leave everything as default. So just go ahead to say finish. It takes a few seconds. So this is fine. Okay, so it takes time to load the project and everything goes perfectly and we are on track. So if you look at this build section, you can see it's downloading a few things it needs for the setup. So it's, it's downloading from services.gradle.org, Gradle 4.6. Gradle is actually um, a component used to manage uh, dependency uh, the pod that is putting together all, all, the, all the necessary files you need for your project and all the necessary models. So you actually wait for it to finish downloading and synchronizing. So, so now we are using Android Studio 3.2. So maybe if it will allow me, I'll show you around. Good. So this is more like any other programming uh, interface. So you can actually run from here. You can run it and build. You can create new project from here. Um, and then we are actually going to use this menu. So you can see here you can actually push back or, or minimize the this task taskbar here, this this panel at the side. In this side, we can actually uh, move this one out. So we have uh, enough room here. All right, so um, uh, we need to wait. Because it's actually setting up the project. All right, so. I think at this point, uh, I'll actually pause this tutorial and then I'll just skip ahead to tutorial 3. So when this completes, we continue, maybe that will be in tutorial 3.